run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So this is a charity shop haul video. There's a few toys and games, a couple of ceramics, we've got a video game in there and then we've got another like sealed game as well. Um, so yeah, bit of a mix of items really. It's not just all antiques and collectibles today. So with that being said, uh, let's get on with this and let me share with you what I picked up from the charity shops over the past few days. So, first up is this brand new and sealed Xbox original game with the obviously uh, the official Xbox seal. Um, and yeah, I paid £2 for that. I think I've got it listed either £14.99 or £19.99. I might have gone £19.99 shooting quite high. Um, it's not really a desirable title even being sealed. Um, so obviously that's why it's not incredible money or anything. Because I know a lot of video games when you get them sealed, especially from older consoles, can be pretty ridiculous money. But this game isn't like that. So even at £19.99 I'm shooting fairly high. So it's possible I might need to come down a little bit. But from £2 I'm happy with that even if I can just get sort of £14.99. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. And always be on the lookout for sealed video games um, of any sort really. Obviously just make sure you're doing a bit of research before you buy them. Um, obviously FIFA titles and stuff like that, they're not going to be worth much sealed. Um, but certainly if you can get random ones sealed, um, you know, more neat ones different ones let's say and also just sealed ones from somewhat could we call xbox original an obsolete console i suppose that might offend a few people or upset a few people but when i say obsolete i mean obsolete in the in the sense of it's not being produced for anymore like games aren't coming out for it as far as i'm aware um so yeah i mean it in that sense not the fact that it's obsolete uh, and it just doesn't matter or anything like that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that one there. So, got a couple of Disney mugs. I've not picked up Disney mugs in forever. Mainly because a lot of them aren't worth it anymore. But also because charity shops just seem to price them quite high. Four or five pounds, something like that for a mug. You know, not all the time. Sometimes you get them a bit cheaper. But generally, I see them at around that price. So, this is a slightly more um, desirable one because it's a slightly raised uh, mug. I think we call them 3D mugs. Um, and this is a membership mug. It's a membership to some sort of Eeyore's club gloomy or something so um yeah it's it's a bit of an interesting one i did do a bit of research and it seems to be coming at around 12.99 plus my postage on top possibly a little bit more 13.99 14.99 but i'd be waiting at that price so obviously around 12.99 plus my postage is going to be about right i paid two pound for both of the mugs you're about to see actually this one and the other one um and this is the slightly less desirable one than the tigger one i will show you now so next we've got this tigger mug this is actually the reverse of it here and this part yeah this part isn't 3d but obviously it's printed on uh, this part here is slightly raised it's I, I didn't know whether it was 3d at first really but you can actually feel there is a slight raise in there so it's a 3d mug now i've seen one in the us um i think it was listed for around 17 18 pound plus x amount of postage if i wanted it delivered to this country um I don't know whether I saw any sold or not. I have a feeling I did see another one sold in the US for around a similar price, but I can't remember. But anyway, I decided to list this one for, was it $16.99 free post on this? Um, so similar to the other one, basically, $16.17.99 free post. Because this is free post, actually, it's kind of just the same price. I was thinking this one's actually worth a little bit more, but really it's around the same price. Possibly this one's worth a pound more or something. Um, but yeah, interesting one. Quite a big mug, this one. Actually, it's really uh, wide one, really quite big. Um, and these are Disney Store ones. This one seems to be a Disney Store exclusive. One second, I'm just going to check on this one. Is this a... Yeah, Disney Store exclusive, but just with a different logo. So that's the kind of a logos you want to be looking out for. I'm preaching to the choir here. I know all you guys will probably know this anyway, but they're the Disney logo logos you want to be looking out for. If you can still pick them up for a quid, something like that at Carbo, even if they're not 3D ones, you pick them up for a quid, get a nice little bundle going, you can still get some good money, um, you know, even for the standard ones. So yeah, that's those two anyway there. 
So next I've got something that I, I was really hesitant to actually even search because I thought, oh, it's probably not going to be worth it. But it's this um, Debnams Deluxe Magnetic Backgammon. And it was the Debnams thing that put me off because I thought, oh, it's just one of, you know, the kind of own brand stuff and they're not really ever worth it. Um, but you can see here I paid £3 for this. It's brand new and sealed, but the seal does have some wear to it. You can see there's big rips in it and everything. Um, but I saw this exact one, but not sealed and actually opened, go for £22 something plus postage. I don't know what's going on because most of these backgammon sets, yeah, okay, if you've got a slightly bigger one, you know, it can sometimes get 15, 20 quid, something like that. But I've never really seen small ones like this and from just somewhere like Debenhams go for 20 quid or something. So I was, I was pretty amazed at that. Maybe backgammon uh, sets have gone up a little bit in the last, I don't know, it's probably been 12 months since I've last sold one, if I'm honest. So, uh yeah, it might have gone up a little bit, I'm not sure. But £3, potentially, I could get 25 or 30 quid for that. So, I mean, I'm going to have to do a bit more research because I am still a little bit sceptical because I did only just do a very quick flick on my phone when I was in the shop. So I'm still a little bit sceptical um, of that price, but, you know, possibly 25 or 30 quid. So that's quite quite interesting. And uh, from £3, I'd be very happy with that if I could get it. Oh, getting a few bids on me on my eBay. Notifications coming through. Things are selling. Things are selling. That's always good to see. Um, next, we've got another little uh, toy thing. Uh, what's it? Like a uh, Tyco RC. It's like an RC car. It almost looks like a monster truck, but I don't think it quite is a monster truck. Uh, Toyota F, uh, FTX. I'm struggling to actually say that then. Uh, Toyota FTX. Uh, don't know whether... It, oh, yeah, it says requires four AA batteries. And, yeah, it's just one of these little toy cars, remote control cars in its uh, box, obviously, brand new and sealed. I paid six quid for this, so I paid up a little bit. I paid more than maybe I would normally would at charity shops for items. Probably my average kind of cost is around two or three pound per item. Um, but, yeah, I did pay six quid. And I didn't mind doing that. Um, and I've got it on for 30 quid. There was only one listed in the US and it was for around the same price. I don't think any had sold. So obviously it might be one of those that I'm just waiting for that buyer to come along uh, and just pick it off. And hopefully I'll get the 30 quid for that. So yeah, six pound into hopefully 30 quid there. Pretty happy with that one. So this was something that I just kind of spontaneously picked up. I I had uh, another item. Actually, I had that backgammon set and I was looking at this and I thought it was three quid. And I know it's not really anything brilliant. Um, I didn't. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get for it. It says uh, Mount Pleasant uh, Pottery, Staffordshire, or Staffs. Um, and yeah, paid three quid for it. I reckon I'll be able to get twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. But I was just guessing when I picked it up. I thought to myself, like, oh yeah, it'll prob probably be some money in that. And uh, I paid three quid, as I said there. And there it is on the bottom. So, yeah, uh, don't take much advice from me sometimes. Don't spontaneously pick things up like that, like I do. Unless you really know and you're confident and stuff. But I really wasn't 100% confident on this. I just thought, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up just to pick something up. So, yeah, don't do not do that. It's not it's not good. Because, um, I don't know, it might turn out that it's not even worth twelve ninety nine. I've been doing, you know, collectibles and antiques and stuff for long enough to know I'll probably be able to squeeze twenty twelve ninety nine plus post out of something like this. To be honest, most ceramic items you can squeeze a tenner out of. Yeah, there might be some really, really uh, bad ones, you know, crap ones that are less than a tenner. You know, or really just small items that are from a really poor makers or whatever than the less than tenner but if you've got a fairly good size item and it's vase and you know studio pottery or anything you're pretty much guaranteed a tenner it's it, you can't really go wrong it's it's quite easy really but anyway that's that one Ho hopefully 12.99 14.99 plus post on that but i'll have to do a bit more research on it i can't see it being worth tons of money though and then finally are you ready what is the one thing everyone everyone after I've said this uh, little question, everyone pause the video now, go down below and submit your answers and then we start the video and then you'll get the answer, right? If you can be bothered doing that. I don't know why. Probably no one will be, able, will be bothered to do that. But what is the one thing I love picking up? What is the one thing that I can never leave behind if I see it in a charity shop? If you've been following the channel for a while, you will know this. I quite frequently pick this up, and even if they're not necessarily up to standard, some of these items, 
I uh, still feel the need, I feel obligated to pick it up. I have a burning desire for this thing and I don't know why. So what is that thing? What is that thing that I have that burning that desire for? Pause the video now. Right, so now you've paused the video or now you've played the video, I should say. Uh, it is, of course, the beautiful fat lava. West German ceramics or I suppose also West German pottery. Um, beautiful piece this is now yes okay i did pay eight pound for it look at that eight quid take that off actually but eight quid that's come off pretty easy there eight quid but bloody hell look at that glaze there now that is sexy and and i'm not saying that in a in an incredibly sultry way and yes I know that's a paradoxical statement because sexy is sultry but I'm not saying that in a sultry way or a bedroom type sexy I'm saying that in a look at the curves on that vase kind of sexy and the glaze the little squiggles yeah it's got all the right things in all the right places I tell you it really has this one it's just the the, the style of the vase the way it curves up with like oh god it gets me, it gets me, I tell you, it gets me, Woo. Anyway, so it's a beautiful piece. I'm, I'm getting so excitable just holding it. I think I'd be better put it down. It's giving me a bit of a woo, you know. Uh, if I was a woman, I'd say I was having a hot flush, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so uh, lovely, absolutely lovely design. And um, I had a smaller uh, one of these with this style glaze on, and I undersold it, I don't know whether you know, you, you remember from one of the sales updates, I think I've included it in a sales update, I put it on for 20 quid, and it had this red glaze on it, it was a bit smaller than this one, um, and I think I thought to myself, oh my god, I probably could have got 25 or 30 quid for that one. Now this one's even bigger, and this one is a desirable design, it's a really nice design, it's not the most desirable, of course there's better ones than this even, but it's a nice design, this one. So I'm going to be whacking this between, I think I might start at 40. Some people may say that's a little bit high, others might say that's pretty much spot on. Um, but I'm going to go a little bit higher than I think, and I'm going to go 40. Um, and then I'm going to come down. And if I, if it gets picked off, off for 35 or 30, then I'm happy with that. But yeah, I think this deserves 40. I think this deserves every little bit of 40. Uh, lovely little vase there. Uh, I don't know quite how high it is. What, what would you say? That's about 33, 34 centimetres. Well, we'll measure it anyway. Oh, actually, no, we don't need to measure it because it's got it on the bottom, hasn't it? Well, I should know that being a veteran of... Uh, fat lava. This little number here, this 29 is the centimetres number. Because in Germany, they are very efficient, as you know, and they even go so far as to being so efficient that they put the uh, centimetres on the bottom. And if you are a veteran of the channel, you will be sick of hearing me say that by now. Because how many times have I said that on video? About 20. So, yeah, sorry for the people who've already heard me say that about 16 times or whatever, but, yeah, that's that one. Uh, oh, no, actually, this isn't, this is Austria on the bottom. Is that still classed as West German ceramics, and even if it's Austrian? Hmm, because obviously the diff there's different potters in West, or there was different potters in West Germany that you could always kind of played in with the branch or, or kind of put in with the branch of West German ceramics. It's kind of like a... A blanket term, I suppose, for all these different potters in West Germany at the time. Um, but I don't know whether it would be good me actually listing this as West German ceramics if it's Austria. Mm, I'm not sure. I have to look into it anyway. Um, but still, lovely piece. Uh, really, really lovely. Again, as I just mentioned, oh, no, did I, I don't even think I did mention the age, but these are mainly 60s and 70s. They've got that kind of look to them, honestly. If you, you know, if you were kind of looking at the fashion and stuff and the decor at that time you'd quite easily know that this is kind of that sort of period um but yeah so that's that one i won't ramble any more about it because i've done four minutes of just say i don't want to say say the word because it's a bad word but i've just splurged all over it let's just say that God, some of the words I choose. I've just splurged all over it. I've I've just openly been so positive and splurged my positivity over it. So I'll leave that one there. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So don't forget, guys, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel to the channel for more random, weird videos like this one of me talking about vases and as if I'm getting horny over vases or whatever. Subscribe for more of that stuff if you like it. It's riveting content. Um, you know, if you do like the video, click the like button. Um, what's the other stuff I say? Oh, I forgot the other stuff. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. That's the sort of stuff I say. So yeah, anyway, see you in the next one, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mine